Hi, I'm Adrian Sanchez from the Ashcast, and today I'll be talking about how movies can express culture. So one of the movies that I've noticed expresses a lot of culture is Karate Kid 2, considering that they go to Japan and that it shows a lot of their customs and traditions. Today we have Zayden here, to, since he's watched it, to tell us a little bit about it. Hi Zayden. Hi. So, how do you think that Karate Kid 2 shows a bit of their customs? I show, I, th- I think that it shows culture because it shows how people in Japan, they take honor and respect very seriously, even if the person they hate the most hates them back, they still show them respect. And um, do you think these values are important? Yeah, I think it's important because you should always be able to respect someone no matter what, even if they've been rude to you and they've said bad things about you. Do you agree with this? Yes, I do. Alrighty, thank you. After doing a bit of research, I also found out that they have other customs that aren't just honor and respect. They have customs for like entering buildings and restaurants. How, for example, you must, it's very respectful to take off your shoes before entering a building or restaurant. Don't worry, restaurants will have bathroom flippers, just don't forget to take them off before you exit. And another one I learned is you should never eat directly from a dish in Japan. You should always take the food from the plate that you will eat and put it on your own plate. And the last one I researched was that you should actually always pour everyone else's drink instead of pouring your own because it could be considered rude. Don't worry, someone else will take notice that you've done it for everyone and they will pour yours for you. Another movie that I feel represents me and shows culture is In the Heights, which is a play and a movie. Here we have Ashton Michaels, another member of the Ash cast, who has also seen In the Heights and is here to tell us a little bit about it. Hi, Ashton. Hello, Adrian. So I really enjoyed this movie because I feel like it showed a lot of Hispanic culture and how like they all broke into dancing on the streets even when they had no like air conditioning or light. And I feel like it really showed Hispanic culture, you know? Yeah. And um, thank you. And another person that I got here to interview is Jared. Hi, Jared. Hello. And how do you feel In the Heights represents you? Um, honestly, um, when I watched it immediately, the first thing I noticed is that most of the community in In the Heights is Puerto Rican. And I am also Puerto Rican. And it is um, celebrating a lot of people like that are Hispanic and it also um, celebrates like immigrants. Thank you, Jared. You're welcome. Alrighty, and I brought another person, Grayson, interviewed on this topic. Hi, Grayson. Hello. So, how do you feel that In the Heights represents culture? I feel that In the Heights represents culture because it shows many Hispanic dance moves and it shows them speaking uh, Spanish, and that's how I feel how In the Heights represents culture. Thank you. So after hearing all of these interviews, one of the things that I noticed is that many people talked about how dances are in In the Heights and 